Rob here from supersneaky.com and I wanted to show everybody uh, a job that I did and explain the difference between uh, spring wire and how it affects a door. So we've got two doors. There's one door. And there's the other. I won't mention the uh, manufacturer, but uh, we've got uh, 8,500 uh, LiftMaster jack shafts on there. And you can see there's the springs on that door. And this one here has uh, shorter, wider, bigger spring wire. Okay. And you can see the difference. This one has a smaller spring wire and the springs are longer considerably. Okay, so let's have a look here and we'll see the difference. Okay, so the first thing you notice that door, it's not sitting flat on the, on the uh, floor. Now let's have a look here. Okay, so I'm gonna push it down and I'm just gonna let it go. You see that? Okay. The spring's, the spring's just too hot for the door. Okay, let's have a look at the other one. Okay. And you can't see that it's sitting flat on the floor. Two doors installed at the same time, same manufacturer, they just ship, shipped uh, different sprigs because they, that's probably what they had in stock, so. Okay, I'll lift this one up a bit and let it go, see? Okay. I like to make my doors uh, a little bit, just slightly heavy with a jack shaft. Okay, let's let's check this one again. Okay. And there you go, see? Okay. Let's have a look. So that's that's your that's your uh, that's your bigger sprig wire. It's a shorter sprig. That's a smaller sprig wire. It's it's longer. It stores energy differently. Okay. There you go. That's a that's a great example of uh, sprig wire size and how it will affect your door. Okay, these are not low headroom doors, uh, but the same the same principle applies to to all doors. Okay. Robert Arms, supersneaky.com. Check us out.